Whenever you're working on clips within a timeline, it's far, far preferential to be able to scrub through those clips easily and quickly within your editor or within your color grading tool. Although DaVinci Resolve is a very powerful piece of software, it does have some downsides relating to performance. It is pretty demanding and kind of thinks that everybody has multi supercomputer systems with 20 graphics cards all lined up together. That's just not the case. A lot of people are going to have systems similar to mine. In my case, I'm using a an NVIDIA GTX 980 Ti, so not a new card, not extremely old, but certainly not uh, of the latest generation. And when I'm using MP4 clips within DaVinci Resolve, I find them to be pretty slow at playing back. There are a few things that you can do about that within Resolve to pr improve performance. So here's our clip, and this these two clips are UHD 50 frames per second, and they're not too bad, actually. They've been sat in here a while now, and we're getting playback up here. You can see the playback rate of about 29 frames a second. Not amazing. The first option you have is to create optimized media. Optimized media is really the same as transcoding all your clips in advance into a format that's much easier for DaVinci to look at. And you can set the format that you use in your project settings. If you look in the project settings under general options here, you see there's a section dedicated to optimized media. So you can choose whether you use the original resolution as your final sort of transcoded footage, what color depth you use. You can just do it at 1 16th of the footage if you want. If you think that's going to be suitable, if you're using 8K footage and you, you can just think, right, I want to just quickly transcode all those to 1 16th and that's going to look fine for editing because, of course, it's going to use the original clips in most cases, unless you say otherwise, when it comes to render. Using optimized media is good because you can tell it to do it and it just leave it for period of time, whether it be 20 minutes, half an hour, go away and come back and you can have all your clips all in a transcoded, optimized format. And then you can select whether it uses optimized media when it's available under the playback menu here. You can use optimized media if available. And then you have the option to delete that optimized media because of course it takes up a lot of space. It's using codecs like ProRes and like DNX, so they are high bitrate codecs. Oh, just to just a point to note, if you go into project settings here, you'll notice that under the format, I only have DNX um, options, and that's because I'm on a Windows system here. What you'll probably see if you're on a Mac is you also, or instead of, have ProRes options. Both are pretty much the same as far as quality is concerned. We won't get into that discussion now. Your second option to improve performance is to use the render cache. And the render cache can be enabled also under the playback section. It's initially set to none. You have a smart option, which means that DaVinci intelligently looks at your clips, tries to determine whether or not you're going to have problems with playback. And if so, when it has free time available, it will go off and create a cached render of that clip. It's a little bit like in Premiere, if you're on a clip and you hit the return key, you'll do a render of that clip. Apart from it does it a little bit more in the background. And you can also choose the user option whereby DaVinci will allow you to right click on each of the clips and actually go ahead and create the cached clip here. So you can go down to the menu here. If I right click on the clip, and you can say you want to turn it on for this particular clip and it'll create that cached clip. So if I turn this on now, if I go to my playback menu and I go to render cache and I do smart, what I'll see is that these two time codes turn red and that's telling me that these do need to have cached clips rendered, but they haven't been done yet. If they'd been done, they would be I think they turn blue. If I go back to the edit screen now, the benefit on the edit screen is you see a little bit more about what's going on. So we've got these two clips in here and we can see that the blue section here are the parts that have been completed. 
So you can see that none of this clip's been done, but this one here has been done and is slowly being completed a little bit at a time. Again, that gives you a lot of, lot of control and can give you a lot of performance improvements. However, I find and have found that you... Uh, I'm just going to do none here and I'm going to delete my render cache. Uh, I have found that DaVinci has done a bad job of determining what it's going to cat, what it's going to sort of go off and render, and it's left me in a situation where it would have run absolutely fine without doing any caching and doesn't run fine because the system's gone off and started to do some stuff. So I'm sat there with a timeline that's like struggling along because it's trying to churn this these renders off in the background. Whereas when I turn render cache off, the plugin, uh, Film Convert in this case, works so well within DaVinci by itself that you don't need to do any of that cache caching. So, yeah, it doesn't always get it right. The third and final option that you have to improve your performance within DaVinci is, again, in the playback menu, you have proxy mode now. And proxy mode, I think, was introduced in 2015 into DaVinci Resolve, and it's really like choosing the resolution that your video plays back at. So if you're from Premiere, if you've used Premiere in the past, uh, that is Adobe Premiere Pro, if you're not from that, or probably Final Cut Pro has something like this, there's an option down here and you can say, I want to see this at quarter resolution, half resolution. And then it also gives you the choice between what the resolution is on playback and what the resolution is when it when it's paused. This doesn't actually, it only has one or the other. So what you can see here is my clip is pretty decent quality. I'm zoomed into 110% here. And what I'm gonna do is change my proxy mode to quarter resolution. And you can immediately see the drop in quality on the clip. If I go back, go to proxy mode, turn it off then it renders it at full resolution. So really it gives it a, loss le a lot less work to do. I find that on MP4 clips in this case, 50 frames per second, it doesn't always make that much difference. If I set this to a quarter, it doesn't make that much difference. If I, in fact, I'll, I'll do that now. Let me just play this clip back and we're getting 30, 30 frames a second, fine. If I change this to quarter resolution, you'd expect, well, it's only gonna do quarter of the work. It's gonna be much, much quicker. It's gonna easily hit that 50 mark. Well, guess what? It doesn't make any difference at all. Now, I can't explain that. I'm not sure whether that's a, there's some kind of bottleneck somewhere else. Don't know. But where it does make a difference is if you start adding other effects. So if we add the Magic Bullet Film plugin onto here, the Film plugin is incredibly intensive and uh, very, very slow in DaVinci. So if I play this clip back now, you can see as I'm scrubbing around, it's even slow. But if I play it back, I'm getting 21 frames a second. This is at quarter resolution, remember? 21 frames a second. If I now tell it to turn off the proxy mode and do it at full resolution, well, <laughs> I'm down at a massive three frames a second, four frames a second. So in this instance, it's making a massive difference. It's making the difference between being able to work with that footage and not. Uh, so yeah, quarter resolution. There you go, twenty. I mean, that's that's reasonable. You know, you can you can work with that. Yes, it's only half the frame rate of the original footage, but it's fine, given the quality of the output and the power of my PC. I see that as reasonable. So there we go. Three options to optimize playback and optimize your timeline within. DaVinci Resolve. You can optimize your media, you can use your render cache, or you can, you can adjust the resolution of the displayed output using proxy mode. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you soon. Bye.